In our sixth question, we are given this particular quadratic function minus x square plus 8x plus 6. And we are told that there are two points P and Q which are on this parabola such that they are two units away from the axis of symmetry. So let's try to find out what the axis of symmetry is for this parabola. Our equation is f1 of x is equal to minus x square plus 8x plus 6. And that would mean a is equal to, in the standard form, a is equal to minus 1, b is equal to 8, and c is equal to 6. And that would give us the vertex is at x is equal to minus b by 2a, which in our case will then become b is 8, a is minus 1, so we will get 4. And the function's value at 4 is minus 4 square, which is 16, plus 8 times 4, which is 32, plus 6. That gives us 22. So the vertex is 4, 22. Further, we are told that P and Q are two units away from the axis of symmetry. So the axis of symmetry is along x is equal to 4, which means P and Q will be at x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 6, 4 minus 2 and 4 plus 2. So these points are going to be, P is going to be 2 comma f1 of 2, which is 2 comma, if I now substituted f1 of 2, I will get minus 4 plus 16 plus 6. So minus 4 plus 16 plus 6, which is basically 2 comma 18. And the point Q is going to be 6 comma f1 of 6. And from symmetry, we know that this is also going to be 18. And it is now told to us that the triangle PVQ is rotated 180 degrees about its axis of symmetry. And we are being asked the curved surface area of the resulting cone. So let's look at what this looks like. So now let's suppose that this point here, let's call this our 4, 22. In that case, 18 is 4 units below, so this will be the horizontal line passing through 18 and 2 will be here. So, 2, 18 is here and this gives us 6, 18 is here. So this is 2, 18 and this is 6, 18. And that gives us a parabola which looks something like this. Obviously a smoother curve than I have drawn. But something like this. And the triangle we are interested in is an isosceles triangle which looks roughly like this. This is a triangle that is being rotated 180 degrees about its axis of symmetry. And its axis of symmetry is x is equal to 4. Now I am erasing the parabola in order to focus on the triangle alone. If this triangle were to be rotated, this point which is our P, this is our Q, this point P basically goes around and reaches Q, whereas Q comes around and reaches P. And in this way we have a cone in our hands. And we want the curved surface area. And then that would be this region. And the base circle is this flat surface below. This is the base circle. 
and we are interested in the curved region whose surface area is given to be pi r l. So, what is r? r is the radius of the base circle, which is basically then this quantity. This is r, which we can tell is 4 minus 2. So, it is 2. And what is L over here? That is the slant height, which is basically this height. That height can be obtained as the hypotenuse of this base radius and the height here, which is, as we can see, 4 units. So, L is going to be the square root of 2 square plus 4 square, which is root 20, which is 2 root 5. So, we have R is equal to 2 and L is equal to 2 root 5. This gives us the curved surface area is pi into 2 into 2 root 5. That is equal to 4 root 5 pi square units. For the part B of our question, we have another curve, which is also quadratic and whose root are basically 4 repeated. So, f2 of x is basically x minus 4 into x minus 4. So, x being equal to 4 makes f2 0. So, therefore, our root is 4 and it is repeated because coming twice here. So, let us now try to look at what they are asking. Now, let A be the set of all points inside the region bounded by these curves, including the curves. So, we are saying the region bounded by these curves and including the curves. And they would like the range of y coordinates of points in A. We know already that. 4, 22 is the vertex for our previous parabola and it also passed through 2, 18 and 6, 18. And about this new parabola, the f2 of x, we know that 4 is a repeated root. So, there is only one root and therefore at 4, that is 22, this would be 21, this is 20, this is 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 1, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and 0. So, this is going to be the repeated root and the vertex of our other parabola. So, if one parabola is like this, f1 had negative x square coefficient, so it is a downturn parabola. Then the other parabola, x minus 4 whole square is an upturn parabola, which is going to be something like this. So, these curves are going to intersect in some way this way and we are interested in the range of y coordinates. So, that would be what are all the y coordinates possible in this region. So, this is a region we are looking at and clearly this is the upper bound of our y coordinates and this is a lower bound. So, y coordinates in our region range between 0 and 22 and they said including the curve. So, 0 is also included, 22 is also included. So, we can write the same thing as y belongs to the closed interval 0, 22. 